Hey dudes! Oh shoot. Hey dudes, the Sienna Plus is now available in shift. You can get it at the link below. Buy one, so we all get one. Now go! It's a binge combination. Okay, fine. I can't believe I've been friend zoned by a skeleton! I need more context on this. <clears throat> I can't believe I've been friend zoned by a skeleton! Yeah! Today I learned that in 2019, a saxophonist was hired to compose a song for the critically endangered New Zealand bird, the kakapo, in order to put them in a romantic mood for mating. It seems to have worked, as 249 eggs were laid and 76 hatched during the breeding season. Now that is barred. The year is 2022. You and your gang shoot down Amazon delivery drones and sell their contents for a living. Is this a prompt or a prophecy? It's an instruction. Lin-Manuel Miranda is the new John Green. Lin-Manuel Miranda is John Green if John Green had written and produced Italia. I wish I didn't understand this post. Are you an our pirate or are you ho ho pirates? I'm an I'm not paying $600 for Photoshop pirate. Rawr, the toughest one of them all. Tea's just leaf water. Yeah, well, coffee's just bean water. Wow, it's like everything is made of things. This door is a wood rectangle. This poster is just ink paper. This lemonade is just lemon water. Wow, it's like you could combine ingredients to make things that are more enjoyable than the initial parts of the equation. Sure is a magical world we live in. The sarcasm in this post is fatal. Firstborn children are the dumbest currency ever. <laughs> Like, what if I never planned on having child, huh? Oh, hi, ye old witch from the forest. I want abs and four billion dollars, and you can have all of my children to return, to be honest. You know, I, a firstborn, was high-key confused by the first seven or so words. Shut up, you dumb currency! The perfect couple. One person has cold hands. The other has warm hands. Together, they maintain the ideal temperature for hand-holding. Relationship goals. Thermodynamic equilibrium. So, which of you is the source and which is the sink? Outdated memes should be called memories. Thanks to the memories. Even if they weren't so dank, they taste like you. Only memer. Piece of media. Here's a female assassin. Nice. She kills her mocks by seducing them and... I mean, she kills her mocks by seducing their wives and convincing them to murder their husbands. Go on. I swear my cats have developed a division of labor when it comes to pestering me for stuff. One of them only bugs me about empty food bowls, and the other only bugs me about empty water bowls. Never vice versa! I have literally watched the cat who only asked for water run and fetch the other cat so she could give me hell about the food situation. Cats are incredibly intelligent, but so, so weird. You know, you don't have to ship things. Just a reminder. Yeah, you could deliver them! <laughs> uh, poor thing. Walked right into an electrical fence while speaking. Norse mythology. Right, so the universe is all centered around this giant fucking interdimensional space tree. And Earth is at one of its roots. And it grows up through all these other realms with like giants and shit in them. And the gods live in the two at the top. Greek mythology. Fuck! Our gods uh, live on that hill right over there, lol. It's nice that we get to die someday. Imagine being immortal and suddenly you remember all the embarrassing things you did in the last 2,000 years. Horrible. Oh, God, jeez. What's wrong? I just remember that time in 1654 when the tavern maid said, Enjoy with thy meal, and I replied with, These, well, what the fuck is with English teachers and being like, Write a story about a deep and personal memory that impacted your life. Ma'am, if I do that, you're going to send me to the counselor's office. You don't want that, do you? Today I learned that according to the legend, the corgi was a gift from woodland fairies, and their markings were caused by saddles and stirrups placed on their backs. How can you spend hundreds of years breeding a dog into a little sausage shape, and then just forget about it and say fairies did it? Hey, uh, are you the real Denny's? Why? What have you heard? Who have you been talking to? I love driving with my windows down, but at what cost? I'll tell you what's the cost. The other drivers around me can hear me go hard to Natasha Bedingfield's iconic bop, Pocket Full of Sunshine, while yelling at them for being morons who don't know how to use a turn signal. Yee. Yeah. The story of cats is that in the 1930s, the famous poet T.S. Eliot wrote a book of cutesy little cat-themed poems for his godchildren. And then 40 years later, Andrew Lloyd Webber 
found a lost cat poem that T.S. Eliot had cut from the cat book for being too sad for children. And Ansel Lord Webber was like, whoa, a cat, that's, that's sad, that's deep, man. I want to make a musical out of this. So the producer assigned to the project was like, okay, I guess you could maybe read these cat poems as a satire to 1930s British society. We could probably do some sort of interesting thing with that. I'm thinking like a cast about five. And Andrew Lord Webber was like, no, forget the satire. Also, I want to cast a dozens in the most advanced magical effects technology ever seen on stage. I've taken out a second mortgage on my house to fund this. And the producer's like, what, 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 do you even have a plot? And Andrew Lord Webber got a bunch of actors and writers and artists together and they holed up and did cocaine, workshops for about five weeks, and at the end of it they emerged and said, the plot is that a bunch of cats are having a dance contest for the right to take a UFO to cat heaven. And then it made two billion dollars. I'm sorry, the plot of cats is what? Please remember not to be harsh on yourselves. Don't tell me what to do! I don't even listen to me! If you're feeling mysterious, take a mildly threatening sounding post and use a random name when referring to the person reading and give a few people with that name a heart attack. Dave, never go into the cellar. It has begun, Olivia. So I'm watching Silent Hill knows my cat was too. Here he is digging it. And here he is not digging it anymore. If the horror movie doesn't have synth in the soundtrack, is it really sexy? I think you mean scary. I absolutely don't. Today I learned that Daddy Long Legs have been around for at least 400 million years, barely changing, and predate the dinosaurs. Longevity kings. More like long leggedy kings. Yes, I am and always have been cringy. Yes, I know it's supposed to be terminal by now. Either kill me yourself or stop complaining. Either kill me yourself or stop complaining is my new catchphrase. And it's a powerful one. Hold on. Goat told us they sound more like salad fingers, so... Yes, I am and have always been cringy. Yes, I know it's supposed to be terminal by now. Either kill me yourself or stop complaining. Either kill me yourself or stop complaining is my new catchphrase. And it's a powerful one. The only two ways I can categorize height is if I see something tall, I go, Whoa, big boy, man. And if I see something short, I go, Heh, baby man. And I don't know what to blame for this. Anyway, want to hear about the time that ghost touched my ass? Sometimes I shine so beautifully that I can't even stare at myself without sunglasses. Other times I look and feel like wet New York garbage. Hold up, wait, wait. I just realized this is wrong. I'm perfection incarnate. I may be the center of the universe now that I'm thinking about it. Ah, never mind. My favorite form of redemption arc is I hate that I have morals now. Like, I realized that I was in the wrong and now I work hard to atone as good and all. But how dare you infect me with morals? Will always be so much more entertaining. The moment when the former baddie starts to walk away in some bad situation, almost gets out and then just stops, curses, and turns around to go help. Mwah! Delicious! This one gets it! How the fuck has this site become so bearable? This place was a shit show a few years ago, but now it's actually good? And not full of instant discourse the way Facebook and Twitter are? Everyone is just tired. This site hasn't improved. The rest of the world just crashed and burned so hard that this place looks like a haven in comparison. If anyone had told me Tumblr would be the most tolerable social media site in 2020, I would have called them crazy. Yet, here we are. Go, Ouija! I do not intend to die anytime soon, but just in case, here's my will. All my money goes to the dude at my funeral who tells the best story about me, as voted by the other funeral attendees. Any genre is acceptable, but paranormal erotica is highly encouraged. And the runner-up gets my corpse. Oh, man, is it so hard to deliberately win second place! Which will you press? Create ducks or remove ducks? I'm pressing as hard as I can and it's not fucking working, OP. <laughs> oh fuck! My university has these toilets and they're honestly ridiculous. What is your gender? Obviously, top hats. Walks up to these toilets in a bowler hat and red lipstick. <laughs> Both of these toilets are for Liza Minnelli and no one else. What if oxygen is poisonous and it just takes 75 to 100 years to kill us? My science teacher said he thinks that's true, actually. Yeah, this is pretty much exactly what is going on. It's why antioxidants are such a big fucking deal. Bonus fact, oxygen oxidizes stuff in your cells, or in other words, it's not toxic. It's just setting you on fire. Very, very slowly. Man, so it was great, because I know the plot of at least 15 different TV series without ever having seen an episode. I don't know any plot lines, I just know which characters are gay. My sister has this toy cat and one of its phrases is, If I had a crown, I'd be a queen. Baby, you already a queen. You don't need a crown.
So far, the efforts to make an actual tesseract is going terribly. Agent Todd lost an arm and may lose a leg. And Agent Jefferson stared at it too long and is now blind. I myself feel extremely energized, even though my sleep schedule is horrid. Don't do this at home, kids. I'm gonna try this out. Do not make the forbidden ice cube! Oh, my f-king god. I borrowed my friend's laptop and here's the desktop. Which is a little creepy, but okay. But did you know that you could set your desktop to change every now and then? Because I did it and I minimized my browser! Most of the Mars scenes in The Martian 2015 were actually filmed on Earth. Oh! The utter betrayal! Pokemon has tried to slowly convince us Pikachu is always fluffy and I for what accept this future. Did, did you think the mouse was just smooth and had yellow skin like a little Simpsons demon? Weird, it's like they forgot how cartoons work. If only classical music wasn't 15 minutes long for each piece and it didn't have titles like Piano Concerto Number no. 2 and E Minor OP 27 Agila Olio Pepperoncino Waluigi. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah! I thought about this post every day for the past five years. Today I learned you are a thief and a murderer. You have killed a baboon and stolen his face. It was a common insult in the 18th century. Listen, when lifespans were lower, you had so much less time to release all the hatred in your heart, so you had to make each expression of loathing count. New urban fantasy theory. Walmart hires vampires. This explains why it's open 24 hours a day, why working there is often described as soul-sucking, and why there's almost always no windows. Most damningly, Walmart is one of the few stores that is specifically hire a greeter, with no other job than to welcome every person into the store. Because vampires have to be invited in. WAKE UP AMERICA! I have a deep respect for Scotland, because I was at an Ireland vs. Scotland football match, and their chant was, WE HATE ENGLAND MORE THAN YOU! One time at a Germany vs. Scotland game, some German fan started the STAND UP IF YOU HATE ENGLAND chant, and the whole stadium stood up. What did we do? What didn't we do? Does this mean that England is the US of Europe? Where did he think the U.S. got it from? Me creating Sienna. You know, what if I made someone always on the positive side? You know, the world's pretty shit, so it's nice to have, like, someone or something to look to to make you feel better. And a lot of optimal qualities and quirks that make people feel good, too. Also me. What if leg was big and blue? And also hair that is just literally vaporwave. There's always that one weak bitch in the group that isn't down with murder. For some reason, I thought both of these were the same post, and I sat for a while trying to figure out which ice cream face was the weak bitch. Oh, it's clearly Iron Man. Really is wild that sign language exists and is perfectly accessible, and yet it's not a taught second language in school. Yeah, you can use it underwater and in situations where you need to be silent, and that's cool and everything, but you can also use it to talk to deaf people, which is more than enough reason already. Just let sign language be an option in schools. Apparently, at some point when my now girlfriend and I were flirting with each other, but not quite in a relationship, she asked me how I felt about pet names, to which I replied, well, you have to call them something. The fact that I managed to end up in a relationship is really testament to my girlfriend's patience. Your girlfriend is a moron sexual OP. Please don't call my girlfriend a moron! Wait, ha! <laughs> Classic himbo. Why do people say don't be a pussy when talking about weakness? More like don't be a man's ego because you know there is nothing more fragile than that. Um, <clears throat> because pussy is the shortened form of a word pusillanimous, which means timid and cowardly. And not slang word for the female genital region. Literally no one else knows this. Nobody. What? Sensational. Remarkable. Hold up. I gotta look this up. Pusillanimous. Don't even know if I said it right, but it's a real word. You, pussy. Me, an intellectual. Pussillanimous! Forgot English. I was watching a YouTuber's video and I texted my friend to ask her if she's seen a video by... And my mind blanked on the words. So I said, the dude who looks real Irish and his name's real Irish and he makes voices sound like Overwatch characters and shit. Person whose name I blanked on was... Patrick M. Seymour, the voice director. I was fucking... F watching his moments when Tumblr users forgot their words. <laughs> I hate taking off my glasses because my eyes go from 1080 HD to buffering at 240p and I just can't handle that. I don't wear glasses, but this post puts things in perspective more than anything else ever has.
I feel like Walmart just so walls. You know, you just drive up to the place and see someone with some other friends in the car dragging away on on the walls of Walmart. I have no idea what I'm saying at this point. I just I just want to buy a wall of Walmart. Therapy. Expensive. Performing elaborate musical numbers to portray your tragic backstory to your arch nemesis, who happens to be a platypus! Free. What does the VA at the end of your URL stand for, Patrick? Um, voice actor. Nah, eh, that! I prefer PMC more vibe amphibian. Oh yeah, I forgot. People wanted me to do this in Irish, so, uh... <clears throat> no, let's do it. We detected signs of Luigi in this galaxy. What are the signs of Luigi? Signs of Luigi. Biscuit crumbs everywhere, distant sobbing sounds, and the sound of someone falling over in another room. <laughs> I love contrasting designs. Demons wearing white clothes, angels wearing black clothes. A demon so beautiful they're mistaken for an angel. An angel so monstrous they're mistaken for a demon. And, and then, then they, they kiss. kiss! Why did the word fandom come to be the common use? It sounds dumb and the word fanbase already existed. Was it seriously just that nerds on the internet thought fanbase wasn't quite enough for something? When did we even start using the word fandom? Fandom, origin and meaning of fandom by online etymology. Fandom meaning the realm of avid enthusiasts, 1903. 1903! I would bet actual money that this is Arthur Conan Doyle's fault somehow. Last night I was driving home in the middle of a tornado warning with thunder and lightning all around me. My car literally shaking in the wind, bohemian raspity blasting out one of my working speakers while wearing one shoe. I realized that if this is how I die, it's how I want to go. Thunderbolts of lightning, very, very frightening be! Paper has six sides, yet we can only use two of them effectively. And the other four are for bloodshed. Today I learned the tap water in New York City has microscopic crustaceans in it. Because of it, it is considered not kosher. Non-vegan water, baby! Finally, non-vegan water. This water is vegan? Pfft. Bring me some meat water, you punk clown! How you treat Furby will shape Furby's personality. There is something you should know about Furby. Never treat your Furby the wrong way. Furbies can be unpredictable. Are you ready to handle a Furby? Why is there a fucking death symbol? Do you think this is a game? You can bet your bottom dollar on that. I didn't know you guys had your own currency. <laughs> Fuck! God damn it! You know what absolutely boggles my mind? That healthy people exist. Genuinely healthy people. No mental illness, no physical illness, no chronic illness, just healthy. What a life that must be. This fucks with my head, though. They're like people who get up and feel awake, and they just go and just do their adult responsibilities without feeling anxious or upset. They just return phone calls, answer calls from unknown numbers, don't procrastinate doing important things until it's a huge problem that makes her cry? That sounds fake as fuck, man. Has anyone ever told you you're beautiful? Oh no, sir. Today is my first day out of doors, and Papa forbade mirrors in the house lest we all fall victim to vanity. <laughs> I've been laughing at this on and off for two days straight. You ever feel like you're not even the main character in your own life? It's just filler episodes for character backstory. Don't worry, it's still your show. This is the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. What if all vowels were A's? Hala yes, mana mana, I can maka. Hala yes, mana ma, es maka. How the fuck do you even do this one? Hala yes, mana ma, es maka na. I'm watching Sapanacha, what about ya? It's like a whole new language, and I think I'm onto something here. That's not a new language, that's a Boston accent. Hey, fuck, no, it's not, you get that shit out of here. Fuck. We tried to convince the history teacher that Taylor Swift ended the Cold War, and he got so frustrated, he just stared into the hallway for ten minutes. I saw him in the hallway later, and his eyes were, like, glazed over. He was so tired, and I felt really bad. Don't! You might be right. Give your players a disintegration gun. What it actually does is shoot people into the future. And in the final session, all the people they shot with it blink into existence around them at once. OP, please change your URL. That sounds like an awesome final battle. Gimme. So with traffic lights, go, yield, stop. But on bananas, it's the opposite. Hold on, go ahead, wait. I will never get sick of this. What is it about what? <laughs> Good night, homo. I mean, homie. Yeah, same thing. Friendship at its finest. I think one of my favorite shark facts is this thing that some species of sharks do where they sort of peek their heads out of the water to see what's above the surface. It's called spy hopping. And great white sharks do it all the time. Look at this stupid little triangle nose. Do something with your life. 
Start yoga. Truly live in the moment. Meet your special someone. Have five kids at age 20. Find out your partner's cheating on you with your boss. Have a breakdown. Finally lose your grip on reality. Then one day after brunch, drive off into the forest, never to be seen again. Sound advice, Karen. Yeah, if water is so smart, how do you end up getting trapped in the bottle? <laughs> Stupid idiot liquid getting owned. Yo, anyone here want to pay $30,000 for Evan's shitty couches? Evan's be out there like, Chaotic neutral sofa and bench set. How, how the fuck do you rest in those? This is it. This is what true temptation looks like. For one low price, you too can be banned from Walmarts. Team of people and there's one girl is literally the worst trope and I'm tired of it. Team of people and there's one girl and when there's another girl, the first girl hates her for no reason. Is the second worst trope, and I'm tired of it. <gasps> Who is she? I die every time I see this post because everyone thinks it's a cat, but it's a fur suit. I, I've been bamboozled. You thought I could learn to trust after being a, but no, never again. Writing prompt: Sloths aren't lazy; they're just saving their energy, and today that energy is released. This is single-handedly the scariest fucking post on this hell site. What the fuck? The fact that Dante created the most popular image of the afterlife with absolutely no theological basis for it will still be the funniest fucking thing to me. Church. Heaven is eternal connection with God, while hell is total separation from him. Anything else is only speculation. <laughs> Actually, hell has like layers like an onion, and the devil's big and mean and also frozen. People are fighting, and there's a mountain to get to heaven, and a nice place for babies. Also, I know this because I went there with my friend. You know, just saying. The timestamp says 2017, but every fiber of my being is saying 2003. I agree. Borb. Bird orb. Yo. Bird or Hey, is the Builder Bear employee supposed to force us to jump up and down or are we getting hazed? <laughs> As a Builder Bear employee, it is my honor to happily inform you that we get to make everyone do whatever the fuck we want during a heart ceremony. Jump to get that heart beating. Rub that heart to your knee so the furry friend always needs you. Rub it to your toe so it's totally awesome. Shake it up so it's got enough energy to hang out with you all day. Close your eyes, make a wish, and give it a kiss, you helpless motherfucker! Look, reanimation is a process, okay? Reanimation is a process is a sentence that just makes me want to play a necromancer as a very deadpan Build-A-Bear employee. Country gnomes take my bones to a place they don't belong. See, shit like this is the reason that it's so hard to turn my back on this website. Where else, pray tell, are you going to find this kind of quality nonsense? West Virginia!